guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am super excited to be doing a video that I have not done in so so long and that is going to be a planner review video. I am going to be showing you guys some of the new Erin Condren goodies. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Tori for sending these my way. I used to do these videos a lot in the past and I've honestly kind of like simplified my planner process and the accessories and stuff that I keep around. But I'm excited to show you to show you guys um, these accessories and planners. I'm going to share a little bit about what I plan to use for 2023. And I'm also going to be putting some of my stickers in here so you guys can see how those fit as well. I also, before we get into the actual like walkthrough of the planners, I wanted to talk about something that's really fun and exciting that is actually happening today. If you're watching this on Tuesday, um, April 26th, I have a sale going on. I'm calling it my Taco Tuesday sale. It's kind of a combination of um, just wanting to do a sale, but also the fact that like it's launch season for planners and I know a lot of people are picking up new planners. It's a fun time to pick up stickers as well. Um, so this sale is going to be 25% off my entire shop. That includes sticker albums, st reusable sticker books, washi tape, stickers, all the fun stuff. I will have a code that will be linked linked in um, Facebook and on Instagram, so definitely go check that out. And then along with that, I will be having tiered freebies. So if you spend um, $25, $50, $75, or $100, you will be getting these freebies, and there's a potential to get four freebies, which will make up a kit. So if you're familiar with my um, my mystery kits, it's going to be very similar to that type of style. Um, but here is, here are two of the pages. So this is going to be the $25. You have to spend $25 after all the discounts before shipping. And then this is going to be the 50. So this, these are like little scalloped um, boxes and I am obsessed. I'm hoping that you guys love these as much as I do because I really want to add these to the shop. But you have like the quarter box and then this is more of a like half box. Just a really fun, more decorative way to like put appointments and things like that in your planner. And then again, for the $50 spend, you'll get this sale freebie. Um, this is a sampler sheet. This is very similar to like, again, all the sampler sheets that I offer in my shop. So you'll get this ombre looking washy which i'm obsessed with and then this full box i think is hilarious it says fiesta like there's no manana um, this would be a perfect kit if one you just wanted to have like a fun girls get together a like housewarming party something like that or just if you want to use a cute like bright kit so i'm really excited about it there's lots of really cute clip art i will show the other three pages in like Facebook and on Instagram. So if you're wanting to check those out, again, you'll get the discount and you'll get to see more of the details related to the sale. Um, but I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. So don't forget to go check that out if you're wanting to pick up some goodies um, during launch season. So like I mentioned today, I'm going to be reviewing some planners. I have here with me the Bloom Hourly Planner. So I'll be walking through that. I also have a binder um, daily duo that I'll be going through as well as some accessories. My thought is I'll kind of walk through, let you guys know my thoughts on certain things. And then I also want to pull some of my kits and lay them down just to see how they fit. Um, just so that we get a good idea if like things are changing. I will be placing an order today. I'm filming this on Monday. I will be placing an order today, um, getting the like compact vertical and things like that. And I'll be trying out stickers in that as well. So definitely look out for that. I think I'm going to make a whole video kind of maybe like doing a mock plan with me so you guys can see how some of my stickers could work. So yeah, anyway, here is the Bloom. I believe that's what it's called. Hopefully I'm not saying that wrong. Um, hourly planner. So a few things. This is the vegan leather cover. I actually currently have that on my planner right now. Um, so one thing that I'm going to note, I will not be, I most likely will not be using this planner and I'll talk about that in a second, but I will not be getting the um, leather planner covers anymore. I really do miss having the interchangeable covers. I feel like it's really nice to like switch things up. I love pink. You guys know that, but this is definitely getting beat up. Like you can tell it's getting pretty dirty. Um, it's holding up pretty well considering the fact that like I put it in my work bag with like a bunch of other things, but, um, I don't know. I just kind of prefer the other planners, um, planner covers and the fact that you can switch them up. So I, 
I personally will not be picking up anything like this. Maybe for my budget planner, but definitely not for my like life planner. I feel like it's really nice to just get to switch it up based off the season and what I'm feeling. So um, with the new planners, you will be getting a coiled clip-in bookmark. This is not anything new. The only difference is now, instead of getting one that like would go all the way down, this is a little bit shorter, and I think that's to accommodate for the A5 planner. So that's something to note. It doesn't affect the way that I use them, but just something that I figured I'd mention. I love the florals in this kit, I, or not in this kit, oh my goodness, in this planner. I think they're so pretty. Some of the florals I like a little bit more. I feel like the lighter florals look really pretty with this like gray sketched look, but then the darker colors seem to just not um, pop as much. So I really like the pattern. I just wish they would have chosen some like lighter colors for the bloom because I again I'll show you in a second I feel like it would have popped a little bit more. You get this really pretty vellum page, a page where you can put your name. Some people also put like their social media handles and things like that. I typically do not put anything there. Um, and then you get some decorative pages just in between your monthly and weekly pages. Here you get the months, so you get July 2022 all the way to December 2023, so that's really nice. I love how they left this very plain because I feel like when there's a lot of decoration and stuff, it just makes it a little bit harder for sticker shops and also just like planner people in general to make it their own. So I really like that they did that. I'm going to be using this page in my planner for Macy's school schedule for next year. So that's something that um, I think will work really well. And then here you have the 12 boxes. Again, I really like that they made it really simple up at the top so that you can just make it your own. You can cover that up with washi and put down like whatever these are going to be used for. So it's just a nice touch. Um, you always get a notes page in between. Actually, I think you technically get two. So you get one before the monthly view and then you'll get another one by the dashboard, which is really nice. I love this print. I think this is a really good color to match with the floral like gray tones. Um, for, for this planner, the reason why I'm probably not going to be using this type of planner is just because I feel like it's going to be hard to cover up the floral pieces when I don't want them in my planner. So in this situation, it doesn't really change much. A lot of the planners have like this same type of situation, like all the way to the edge designs for this year. So I feel like a lot of people are used to that. Um, again, I think this is pretty similar to in a lot of the planners this year. This page really hasn't changed at all. It's more um, like up here that I'm worried about on the weekly view because you guys know if you watch my videos that I tend to use kits and sometimes the kits are not going to match with the colors or um, the floral pieces. And so for me, I would prefer to get a planner that has the floral, like the cute floral stuff in between like this but then have more of a blank slate for the weekly view, if that makes sense. So I know that's not an option currently, and that's kind of why I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with more of a neutral look in my planner. But I mean, it's really pretty. It's just, if you're using sticker kits and they're like, you know, like mine, where they can be some floral, some other things, it's just, it's not gonna be easy to cover. I do use a full box typically, but like, you know, there's no way to make a full box that would be able to cover that, so. Anyway, I love the planner. I love the florals. I just don't think it will work with the way that I currently plan. Um, again, the other thing is I feel like some designs go a little bit better with, or some colors go a little bit better. Like this is really cute. You don't really get to see much of the detail on these darker florals, but this is really pretty. There's one that I saw that I just feel like it kind of looks like this one here. That color just, I feel like it really dulls out the look of the floral accents and you don't really get to see it that well. So I wish they would have chose a little bit lighter of colors for that because again, it's so pretty, but it just, it kind of gets drowned out. Like this is good. It's still a little bit dark there, but like you can still kind of see it. So yeah, anyway, that's this planner. Um, the weekly pages, everything looks pretty much the same, except for you'll get a combination of these colors for the you know floral accents. And then you get some notes pages back here. So it looks like you're going to get 
maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you get a blank page. So that's actually quite a bit of notes pages. Then you get some of the other um, holidays and things like that. You get a page where you can keep track of contacts. And then you get a 2024 overview. So you can put down like future events there. And then you get really pretty stickers back here. I don't typically use these. They're not, in my experience, removable. So it makes it a little bit tougher because I put stickers down and then I move them a lot. But there are lots of pretty stickers back here. I love the rescheduled and canceled ones there. Some more like decorative ones there. These ones here. And then you get a folder and the perpetual calendar, which I always have the intention of using this and I never do. <laughs> I definitely should do it. But yeah, anyway, that is the Hourly Bloom Planner. Again, it's really pretty. I just don't think for my planner style that it's going to work for me. Um, so I'll definitely keep that around the shop so I can, you know, do tests and things like that. Then they also sent me the A5 Daily Duo in the binder setup. So this is one of their new, like, um, folio things. So you get lots of options. There's pockets and all kinds of fun stuff in here. I feel like this would be fun if they did this and you could use something like this for a budget planner. So if they did this for the monthly planners, because you could keep like checks and, you know, um, expense tracking stickers and all that fun stuff in here. But here's what it's going to look like. So you can see as opposed to the other planner that I just showed you guys, this like with some of the extra boxes, this is like very, very colorful. Um, the patterns are going all the way to the edge. So it's a little bit harder to cover up. I think that the same is the case with the neutral version of this, but I think they do have a different version that doesn't have like this to the edge pattern. So that's kind of what I'm going more for. Um, so yeah, again, I think it's going to be the same exact thing as last year where you're going to have to, you know, use monthly sheets that will cover all the way to the edge if you want to cover that up. At least here, you only really have to cover up this bottom part on the dashboards, but the dashboards pretty much stayed the same. And then here is what it looks like for the A5 Daily Duo. So it doesn't look like much has changed on the actual, like, daily duo section. I know a lot of people were kind of upset that this didn't go away. I never really used, when I was using the daily duo, I never really used the monthly calendar. I know some people feel very passionate about like using it or not using it. Honestly, it just didn't make a difference to me. And then you get a notes page, I believe, in between every single week, which is going to be really nice so that you can put together like a weekly at a glance, things like that. If you shop with me and you want me to come up with something for this page, let me know down below what you guys are thinking. I know that a lot of people have done things like a weekly to-do list, um, kind of like what you would do in a dashboard or um, like a, month, or a weekly overview where you can have Monday through Sunday and just put together all of your events. So let me know if that's something that you guys want to see. It's definitely something that I'm considering doing because I know with da with the Daily Duo, that was always something that was kind of missing. So I just have six months in this book and it seems like I'm not really having an issue with flipping. I feel like in the past when I've tried their planners that were in more of a binder situation, sometimes it would get caught. I feel like maybe they fixed that issue. Again, I don't remember the last time that I've actually had something like that. So maybe, um, maybe that's, you know, something that they've changed a while ago. But anyway, that's kind of what that one is looking like. So very cute. Okay, so before we get into the actual like accessories, I wanted to really quickly just kind of put some of these stickers in to see how they fit in the monthly view, just make sure nothing has changed with that. So um, this is a Halloween kit, but um, it is a kit that is like the newer version with the like designed all the way to the edge. So basically you just kind of have to line it up with the edge here so that it covers everything. 
my kits are a little bit different now because this was last year's version but i just figured i would pull one of these so you guys can get an idea so it fits very well it's not going to get the entire design unfortunately because it's all the way like in the coil and there's no way to make a sticker that does that but it looks like we won't have to change around any of the stickers and if you have purchased monthly views from me before or if you want to like stock up i don't think you'll have an issue with them fitting it looks like it's going to be a good match so i'm really glad that they didn't change those around as a sticker shop it honestly is really difficult when there's huge changes to the planners because then you have to make big adjustments and it's just not very fun so yeah anyway everything seems to be fitting really well which is awesome so i don't think that's going to be an issue there so that looks good um, i'm also going to now take a look really quickly at the weekly so these are new but and all of my stickers are basically supposed to be more like universal so if you pick up um the like event stickers and stuff like that they should fit in the hourly and also the vertical so you can see those fit really well let me just pull some date covers so i can put those up there and just make sure those fit still as well okay so ignore the fact that these <laughs> these are definitely not the same from the same kit um but i just figured i would kind of just make sure that things are looking the same that looks like it fits really well and then the next strip here So it looks like they fit perfectly still. So I think if you order from my shop, you should have no issues with um, the hourly. The vertical is really easy too because it's like separate boxes and a lot of times you can use the vertical for other kits as well or other planners as well. So yeah, anyway, that is kind of how some of the stickers are fitting from my shop. So again, if you're wanting to purchase them, I think that you'll be in good shape there. And then let me go ahead and grab some of the accessories so I can show you guys all of those. Okay, so there's a lot of accessories here, so I figured I would just kind of go through them pretty quickly since this video is already really long. So I got two of the new cover options. I really love this one here with the stripes. You guys know I'm a fan of stripes and floral, so these two are perfect. Um, I think when I order my planner for this year, I'm going to get this one and then just have my name on it because I think that would be really cute. This one here is, again, that really pretty floral. And then it says, become what you respect, mirror what you admire. So a cute version there. And then they sent over two of the sticker books. So again, the bloom and then um, this one here as well. So I'll figure I'd walk through them really quickly. Ooh, this is kind of cool. That would be like a really cool, more decorative piece. That's definitely not what, what I expected when I first opened this. And then you get some more of these like functional options. This is a really pretty, like I love that, like they kind of have that set up like that. I think that's really cute. Some more of the bigger options. These are really cute. I love how they did like the pinks and stuff on this page and then the more of the blues and greens. Some of the bigger boxes again. There's lots of stickers in this one. Okay, and then some more of that in the back as well, which it looks like these are more of like the pinks again with some of the green and then this is like purple and blues so that's a cute thing there and then here's the balloons and it does show you on the back what's included I just like flipping through it myself okay so I was kind of hoping and I guess I do have some in there I was kind of hoping that this first page again would be the blooms but I think it's going to be the next page over so this is really cute I love these colors and then you get some metallic like gold metallic floral accents there this would be really cute and they kind of do like different color foils so this is silver this is rose gold gold 
I think, yeah, that's silver again. This is rose gold. Here's some cute little like motivational types of things. Getaway weekend, that's cute. More silver, rose gold, gold, and then some more of those floral, but this time in silver. So really cute, really cute options for there. And then we have sticky notes, which I love sticky notes. I use these all the time. I'm trying to think if they, no, it looks like they only sent me the balloon ones. Um, I always have these in my planners. I should put one in my, in my budget planner as well, but I always have at least one in my like normal planner. So you get lots of options there. I love that they give you really small ones and then some bigger ones as well. So that's really nice. Here we have a petite planner and this is a monthly one. So I actually want to open this up. I was thinking I need to pick one of these up so I can test out the, the versions for, to make sure that it will fit good. But I have a feeling that this one may, I wonder if they have other versions as well, like a balloon one, because my kits may fit like fine here. I won't have to do all the way to the edge, but for the floral, for the bloom one, you may need to. So anyway, you get just all the months and then you get a bunch of note pages in the back. So this is good for like if you're planning out, if you just take this on the go with you, um, it would be a fun way to keep track of appointments and meetings and things like that. So that is the monthly planner in the petite. And then they sent over some of the stickers that are in the back of the planner. So it looks like this is the A5 and then this would be the seven by nine. So again, it's just gonna be the same stuff that I showed you guys earlier in the planner. They also sent over this planning, um, planning pack, it's an ultimate planning pack. And this one's a little different from the planning packs in the past. So if you've been around for a while, you've probably seen the old planning packs. This one opens up a little bit more and there's like pockets and things like that inside. That would be really fun for so if you wanted to like have this for your budget, you could have like, you know, your checkbook or something in here and your calculator, some pens. So it's a really cool like option. I like that it's a little bit more open. There's pockets in there. It's definitely a great touch there. So that's the ultimate planning pack and it does have a elastic band that can go around your planner. So that's a cool option there. And then we have some bookmarks, so clip-in bookmarks, which is good. Again, I, I most of the time just use the coil rulers that they give you, but these are also some cute options if you're wanting to mix it up. They sent over a pen. I'm not really a huge fan of ballpoint pe pens, so this is not going to be uh, my jam, but this is kind of one of the ones that I've been using lately. It's the Energel liquid gel and it's in point three. So if you're wondering what kind of pens I like to use in the planners, that's what I like to use. They sent me over a clip in dashboard. So this one, it has a few different views. There's priorities to do and then kind of like a um, weekly view there. It's kind of another option that you could use if you're wanting to put together like a game plan for the week. So that's awesome there. Then we have this magnetic to-do list dashboard. Um, so that's kind of fun. I'm actually going to open this up because I haven't seen one like this. Oh, oh, you can actually write on it. I wonder... I'm not familiar with this. I wonder if you could write with the normal pens that they have and like just use water to get it off. I'm, I'm guessing that you could. That's kind of an interesting thing. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I'm going to have to like play around with that and see. Um, and then lastly, they sent me these dual tip markers, which I actually already have a few of. Um, yeah, I believe this is one of them. Yeah, I, I believe so. So you get kind of like a marker on one end or like a highlighter. Yeah, right highlight. So yeah, this is the um, highlighter version. And then this is what it's going to be for like the um, writing portion. And let me actually just write on the back of here. I want to see kind of how this looks. I haven't really tested it out a lot. I've used highlighters from them before, but I really haven't done anything else. So let's see how this looks. I'm just going to write 
hello. And then let's see if you could just highlight right over it. That actually works pretty well. Still a little bit bold for me. Um, I, I really like thin pens and markers. So here's my pen. Just to give you some reference, that's what I like. <laughs> so it's a little bit more bold. I probably would not write on my planner with this, but I have made little checklists and stuff like that in the notes pages of my planner for like custom scripts when I'm doing it for the shop. And sometimes I'll use just the bolder colors and tips and stuff for like the header of my thing. So like mini scripts, mixed scripts, stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, those are some of the fun new Erin Condren items. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see one of these videos again. Um, again, do not forget to check out the sale. I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be awesome and just a fun way for you guys to celebrate the new planners and also just, you know, get a fun freebie out of it. So anyway, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.